Yo, 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 what's good? It's your man, Big Rock. Or it's your boy, Zero. And uh, this is Hustle and Grind. Yeah. We're here with a special guest, uh, the homeboy, Keanu Pinder. What's up, yeah, brother? Say what's up, brother. What's going on, guys? Yeah, yeah. Not, not that, not, <laughs> not that, that at all, man. I was going to say, um, welcome home. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> going to be home, eh? Yeah, no doubt, man, no doubt. Um, do you want to give people a little bit of background what you do? I mean, obviously, we're on a basketball court. Yeah. You have a basketball in your hand. Um, <laughs> Keanu, uh, you, you come from you come from Perth originally. You played uh, you played here, right? Yeah, well, I'm originally from Derby. When, yeah, in the okay, yeah, yeah. 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 Moved here then when I was ten years old. Yeah. Um, started playing basketball with Alton. Yeah. Yeah. Alton <laughs> back rep. in the day. Yeah, yeah, back yeah. in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Very first time played basketball, um, and then yeah, now I'm here playing professional basketball. Yeah. Um, this time with Adelaide 36ers. Yeah, yeah that's what's yeah. up, man. Yeah. And, um, um, congrats. Yeah. I was, yeah. Yeah. We were going to say before, congratulations for that signing. And um, it's, it's, it obviously looks like they're, they're doing a good job with their recruiting system. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? They yeah, are. Yeah. They're, they're spotting talent when talents are uh, coming up at the right time. That's right. So, yeah. Absolutely. Um, I was also going to say, um, you, you obviously you went to Arizona for a little bit, Arizona State. Am I correct? Uh, University, Arizona. University, University, University yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. And um, yeah, do you want to give people a bit of a like an insight on your experience over yeah. there, but specifically like you know training regime and how serious the game is over there, you know, compared to, to over here when it, when yeah. it comes to the tournament and stuff. It's yeah. way different, eh? So, like, when I first went over, there was a bit of a culture shock, actually, um, yeah. because I wasn't really lifting weights that much because of my back. Yeah. Uh, I had a back problem, and then, um, yeah, my first day there, we started lifting weights, <laughs> like, straw, like, seriously. So yeah, 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 It was, yeah. like, it was a big shock to me because we were lifting weights every day and training five days a week, you know? Yeah, and yeah. I wasn't really, I mean, I was used to that because of my coach, but, um, you know, because I was lifting weights again. Yeah, um, your body has to yeah, get used to it. Yeah, so I had to get yeah. used to it for the, so it was a big cold shot for like the first two months. Yeah, yeah. I guess. And then um, after that, you know, I got used to it and then it, it was just flying, you know, it was, yeah. I was going with it, you know, it was, but, you know, then again, you had the school, school part of things where you have to, you know, do your, your school work. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that, I was going to say, being a, being a student athlete in America, yeah, yeah. All yeah. Back, so it was tough. Yeah. But, so, um, how, so how did that work? Like, you have to, like, do your grades first before you can play? Yeah, or? that's right. So you have yeah. to have a certain uh, GPA to play. Yeah. But, um, is it 2.0 two or 3.0? I think it's 2.0, yeah. No doubt, no doubt. Um, so, yeah, so you have to keep a certain grade point average and mm-hmm. then, um, yeah, you know, you go, you go along. You go to class every day, and then you have a, your practices, and at night you have a study hall, so you have to do your work, all your homework and stuff, oh, yeah. and you have to all do it all before Thursday, and uh, uh, all your homework, so you have the weekend. So you can actually play. Yeah, yeah, so the weekend you play the game, so th- I mean Thursday night, uh, Thursday night sometimes, Friday night, Saturday night, you know, yeah. sometimes Sunday games. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, no, yeah man. Um, and like you said, the, the, the culture is very different from there. Yeah. Over here. So what's yeah. it like coming yeah, back? Was it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Like, yeah. Like going there to come in here. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, it's, it's way different. Hey, um, it's a little, it's a little, no, I wouldn't say easier, but just the the the, the pace of things yeah, a little yeah. slower. If, if you yeah, say. it's it's a lot different. Um, I feel like over there is, I have more fun. Is it? Like, let's let's just start. Like, like a simple yeah, question. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Is it like the movies yeah. over there in college? Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. <laughs> that's what we need, oh, to, that's what we need to know. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Just um, another bit of insight on you, man. Like, I'm, I like this is a little bit of a background story, but me, yeah. Zero, um, we, we all sort of know each other from when we yeah, were right. kids. Yeah. yeah. Different times, obviously. Yeah, um, different we, times. we played ball together like yeah. a little bit when I was. I think I was a year above when we played at Eastern. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And um, and I played ball with brother boy back in Elton. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, hang, hang on a Sunday. No doubt, yeah, no doubt, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Sunday. Shout we'll out to Sunday. Along eventually. <laughs> 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 but um, yeah. So we we growing up in uh, we growing up in the in the place that you grew up and like you know seeing the things you're seeing. Like how, what what is, what is, what motivates you to like play ball and what motivates you to do what you do? Um, you know, definitely. Uh, so when I was younger, my mom used to play basketball. Yeah, she was yeah. always you know always around playing basketball. So my dad, obviously. Yeah. And, um, but you know, my mom was the main one who you know pushed me to play basketball. She literally forced me to play at Alto when I was uh, ten years old. I came yeah. came down um, to call, to watch my sister play, yeah. and she was playing on a mixed team. Yeah, no, yeah. And one day, my mom just—it was my birthday, and she just forced me to jump on the court. I didn't want to do it, but I did it. And yeah, then, you loved it. I, I came down the side of the court, and I did like this behind the back around this kid. Now yeah. I was like, "What the hell was that?" <laughs> <laughs> it felt amazing, man. And yeah. then I went to the left, and I just. 
I didn't see that. I'll go back one so hard. I'm like, oh, we're going to do a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, that was your first time ever. That's yeah, the last one. That's I mean, I, I used to shoot around, but never played. Never played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Derby run from, there's no basketball for kids, nothing like that. Yeah. Right. And right. you want to um, let people know what, what Derby's like as well, growing up uh, there as well, brother? Yeah, yeah. So Derby's like a, it's a small town. In the Kimberleys, it's like a, it's a country town, you know. Yeah. Um, everyone just goes fishing and hunting and all that type of yeah. stuff, you know, diving. Yeah, you might play a little footy here and there. Yeah, yeah. footy, that's about it. Um, yeah, maybe footy, eh? Yeah, my yeah. stepdad was a uh, was a coach of the, of the team in the town. Yeah. Oh, right, right. So I was just rather a footy boy, so I, I, I grew up playing football. Yeah. You know, that's all I really cared about, really. Yeah, so yeah. If, if, if it wasn't for moving to Perth, you'd probably be a ruckman right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> probably uh, one of the AFL teams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then, um, you know, there was a, a point... Uh, in my, in my, when I was 16, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, coach Steve Williams over here. Yeah. yeah. Shout, out Shout out to the coach. coach. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to get the coach on? Real yeah. Quick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's why I play basketball right now. Yeah. So you know, he came and talked to me, and he was like, you know, you have a, you have a, a sky's the limit for you, you know, and um, you know, basketball is what you should be playing, and you know, yeah. I listened to him like. Good thing was, you did. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. The man knows you. The man knows you. That's right. Yeah. When I was 16, I quit football and just played basketball from then on. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Um, how how do you think your journey's been since um since coming back from or going to going to Arizona and coming back and just the whole experience of having to be a traveling actor like because yeah. it's it's very different to I guess like growing up in a specific program and then working your way up you know you you've sort of bounced around a little bit and you've had to do the journeyman sort of yeah move. yeah I mean it's been a a really good learning experience for me you know yeah yeah you know I lived in Poland for two years America for five years yeah and, um, exactly. So, you know, I was by myself over there in Poland, so, like, you know. That's no, crazy, No man. friends, nothing. Just the stay. language is completely different. Yeah, so I just, like, stayed in my room all the time. I hung up with a teammate sometimes, and yeah. that's what I did, you know. Other than that, I was a loner, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's so, understandable, yeah. man. It's, it, 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 it's, it's a thing for you that you have to make the um, evaluation between how seriously you want to take this, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And yeah. any opportunity you get, you're going to take it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. look, look where you are now, like, getting signed by Adelaide. Like, that's yeah. that's yeah. amazing, man. Yeah. With, uh, with getting signed to Adelaide, you can watch, like, game plan. Um, what do you want to achieve? Yeah, what do you want to achieve? I just want to take this um, take this season by storm, you know. I just want yeah. to come and come in crazy, you know. Yeah, yeah. Do a lot of exciting stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I'm working coach. I'm working hard with coach every day, you know. Yeah. yeah. Me and him are in here every day working. You yeah. know, he's, he's going to get me to the level where I need to be, you know, to to dominate in this league, and that's what I plan to do, you know. Yeah. My first year here, I need to show Australia what I got, you know. That's the That's the right. And you got to you got to come in with that energy, man. Or like, why else yeah. are you doing this? You yeah. Know? yeah. From, from playing. Um, when you first went to America, was it a bit of a shock getting used to how they play? In a way, um, like, or did you just fit in straight away? In America, uh, it, was, it was tough at first. Um, yeah. But you know, I, I fit in pretty well actually because yeah. I'm, I'm athletic. You know, like everyone yeah, else over there. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it was a, it was a good experience for me uh, when I first went over. Yeah, yeah, especially playing AAU basketball, that was really fun for me. Uh, that's yeah. one of the best experiences I had. And um, so it was junior college. Yeah, yeah. So junior, junior, junior college. college. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was junior college was tough at at, at first actually. Um, you know, it was it was it started off a little bit rough. I mean, like yeah. it started off really good and yeah. then rough and then it was like great. I yeah. loved it. You know, it was one of the best best experiences of my best life going to junior college. Actually, um, yeah. yeah, no one really talks about junior that much, but. Yeah, I mean, I have a friend that goes to Syracuse right now, named Tiana. Yeah. Um, you know, she was she 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 says that um, junior college is like the best experience the she's best ever had. Wow. Okay. And um, you know, she's probably going to get I'm mean, going to get drafted this year in WNBA. So. Oh, that's awesome. And, you know, she goes to Syracuse. Um, yeah. Well, I, I think. Um, well, do you want to give people a bit of an explanation what junior college is compared yeah. to obviously yeah. what a like an actual Pac-10 college is? You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, junior college is uh, it's a. Um, it's just where you go to get your grades up to go to Division One, yeah, or wherever you wherever you can go, Division One, Division Two, you know, yeah. So that's where you go to get your grades up because yeah. I didn't have the grades. Yeah. yeah. So stay in school when I was in Australia here. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't go to school much. So <laughs> yeah. I, I failed. I failed school here, so you know. No, honestly, it's it's but, good to yeah. have an education as well. Yeah. So no, nah, sure, yeah, for sure. Did, you know, yeah. I'm one class away from graduating. Yeah. Graduate, awesome. I get my degree in college, and um, you know. And I barely went to school here, so and I failed twice. So, <laughs> so now, no, now it's, I'm it's, here. When, it's when uh, I guess uh, you really want something, to work hard for it. Yeah, that's right. Nice you know, and that was the, the path I had to go on. You know, school was hard for me, and um, you know, I just put my head down and, and did the work. You know, and um, yeah. now I'm here. So, no, that's so yeah. and um, with 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 you, man, your your business is your your body and your sport. So, yeah, you know right. what I mean, like. You understand how to play the sport. It's also good to understand how to like you know sign the contracts. Yeah. No, yeah. you know you know how much you're worth. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. 
Because yeah. it's important, man. Like people, people don't um, people don't take that seriously enough, and they sort of get taken advantage of in the future. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, speaking of coach, man, I was gonna say, speak on a bit of uh, what what you and coach work on, and how often you guys train together, and like you know the work that he's done to help you get to where you are, and also just um the relationship you guys have together. Yeah, no, we have a great relationship. You know, we've always yeah. been close ever yeah. since I was young. You know, um, but you know, we work on a lot of things where I should be. You know, um, and yeah. Footworks, you know, like when I was growing up, I didn't really have much footwork because I just played because of pure ability, and he yeah. he yeah. helped me with all my framework really. So you know? essentially, all the fine tuning. Yeah, that's yeah, right, that's right, that's what he, and that's what he's best at, you know. Nice. He has a lot of, I see him do a lot of work with kids here, and he's fixing their footwork and all that stuff, and yeah. Yeah. everything like that. And you know, I'm, I'm trying to come become a three man, you know. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's helping me, you know, along the that's, way. That's important. Yeah, because yeah. that's that's where I'm, I really should be playing. Honestly, that's what I was I'm saying, saying that before yeah. when I came in. I was like, you're small for yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. you'll build your, your athleticism. Like yeah. you can shoot as well. Like you know what I mean? Do this yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, for real. And, um, yeah, so we've been working on all them things this, this whole summer. You know, yeah. not summer in here, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so we call it summer because it's like it's like the off season. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. absolutely, yeah. no, no, it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. You, you're not working on the seasons over here, man. It's like yeah. yeah so. if, if anything, you're thinking of Poland's like where's the snow, man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the goal of Poland, man. Then going into that stuff with the cold. Oh, actually, was it? It was from dirty. It's yeah. really hot, <laughs> you know, and then. And and then going to over yeah. there where it's very cold, like. Oh man, it was. It was at first it was like I was very cold, but um, I don't know. I just uh, I got used to it because I like the fashion of it too, you know. Like yeah, you, yeah, the big puffy big jacket, 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 yeah, yeah, all that. Um, Timberlands. <laughs> yeah, I know that, but um, I, I, I like I like that. Um, and like everyone, everyone over there is real fashionable people, you know. Yeah, yeah no, for sure. Yeah, and they're all they all dress nice, man. Like you go out, you in public, they're all dressed nice. That's yeah, something yeah. you're, not, you're not just walking out in sweats after after no, walking out. Yeah. You're walking, like, walking around with thongs on, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, thongs on, 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 thongs Paul and, and, and AFL. Every, so, yeah. you know, it, all, it all comes together. Yeah. But um, what I was going to say is, um, so what, what what's your uh, like song that you go to to get you hyped? Yeah. Or what, what's your what, track what, list? Yeah. What inspires you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what gets you pumped? As far as music goes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll get to the ball part. Yeah. Like later. Jeez. <laughs> um, I listen to a lot of, a lot of Drake. Yeah, light skin, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> light skin, right? Light skin, right? Um, I listen to um, also a lot of um, I, I, I like this new guy coming out. He's a young Australian kid. Yeah, uh, new album come out. Kid Laurent. Kid, kid Laurent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. Album, I love Juice Will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, NBA Young Boy is, is like. My favorite yeah. uh, guy gives me hype. Yeah, uh, true. It's yeah. so good, but yeah, he's you know. just so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. That that. Like, I mean, was, yeah. Brings out that you know. Yeah. Are you are you a, are you a solid follower of LeBron's uh, track list when he when he puts out a song yeah. that he's using to work out with? No, I don't really. Know. Yeah. No, I, I go to my. Yeah, and uh, I listen to a lot of NBA Young Boy and uh, Kevin Gates and you know, yeah, sure, man, that's br- brings out the old, old Molly Boy, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going on the court to kill, yeah, so you need yeah, to yeah. have that mentality, bro. Right? When it um, yeah. comes to basketball, late night gallery, yeah, late night gallery, that's where we're going. Knock you back, back, yeah, and that's ninety five, and that's ninety six. TN's big boy, big grip. Good days, man. Those are the days. That's right. Oh, but uh, when it comes to basketball, who would you say is your biggest inspiration? Uh, definitely LeBron James, you know, because, uh, yeah. you know, he... Um, He's the everything man as far yeah. as yeah. what you want to be, be like, yeah. you know. Yeah. Man, the guy that takes care of his body is so amazing. These guys like, what, 30-something years old. Yeah. yeah. Flying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> still flying like, like, flying like he's 18 years old, bro. No, it's like. Yeah, he's just, he's just so like his work ethic. He's, he's also a great businessman as well. That's right. He, yeah, man. Yeah, and just, just everything he does is so professional, man. You know? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, he he brought out a movie called More Than a Game, or it's yeah. a documentary on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched that. I love that. Hey. Before games, when I was younger, man, when that first came out, I watched that probably every single big game. I probably watched that before the game. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> that's give me hype. You know? Yeah, yeah, give me hype. Um, so that's, and then you know, the funny thing is because um, one day I was home sick. My mom was home sick with me, and um, she was like. Uh, come watch this on Oprah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And there's this guy, LeBron James, on, on the, on the, on the oh, um, yeah. TV. It was his, and it was like, he signed like the biggest contract ever 
or like a youngest player, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Contract. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because I was going to say that the Nike contract decided coming into the league that yeah. $99 million yeah. 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 at that age. That's crazy. Yeah, such an like, astronomical figure, like, yeah. at the time. I mean, you see people like Zion doing that now, but yeah. Yeah. at the time it was unheard of. Yeah, yeah no, that's true. true. But um, yeah, it just inspired me, you know, because like, I want to be that rich, you know. Like, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like, LeBron, LeBron is the best to do it at his position. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. when it comes to like having like the brand, having like the, the, the athleticism, having also the community impact, you know what I mean? Like, he always, like, you know, the, 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 the I Dream school that he has, yeah. where he's like, you know, paying for education right, yeah. and stuff that's like that. Like, and he's just a humble person. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, I mean, sort of like, you're, you're a humble bloke as well. Yeah. Right. I'm just yeah. saying, LeBron's humble, famous humble. Yeah. But I mean, like, you, you, you strive to get to that point. You're like, why not try to be the best at what you do? You yeah, know what I mean? Right. No, yeah. it just sucks. Um, so, yeah, apart from LeBron, like, who are some other players you think you sort of take a little uh, inspiration from? Yeah. So, like, you know, who's, who's handles, who's jump shot form, like, who's, um, who's positioning, like, who's, yeah. um, you know. Yeah. I want to shoot like a uh, Nick Batum. He's long arms, you know, like me. Sure. Very long arms. Yeah. He rises up and he shoots for He's a good defender he's, as well. Yes, and he's very long and good turn defender. Yes, yeah, right. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I want to be a defender like Kawhi, something like that. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Big hands, big hands. You know, that's that's how I, you know, he's like my height too. You know, yeah. six seven, six eight. You know, yeah. And that's what he is. Uh, six eight, man. Good. Six, eight, I remember when we were kids. I swear we were all the same height. Like, I don't know, like. What were you, what were you, what were you eating that we missed out? <laughs> You know, man. Oh, you eat it. You were yeah. right. yeah. That is true. You were this side of the You were this side of the When we were young. We just ate some bad. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I had to, to, to bring uh, some, my birth certificate in after the first time. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, yeah, this is this kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. 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 Obviously, yeah. you got the Nike one. The KDs, man. Yeah, the KDs. Arizona edition. Hey. Oh, yeah. yeah, so tell me yeah. all about that. Because people don't yeah. understand, like, college yeah. college players get specific yeah. shoes that other people won't ever get. These are PEs right here. You That's know. just yeah. sad, man. I've, yeah. I've got a bunch of these at home, um, for, like, different times, obviously. Dude, yeah. keep yeah. them for yeah. the future, because you never know, like, when you might need to sign and sell. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Solid, solid, solid yeah. 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 I, I saw some already, actually. Uh, these Zach pairs, I think two pairs of these already. Yeah, yeah. We'll keep that on the DM. Yeah, we'll keep that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Awesome, yeah. by the way, man. I'm just, <laughs> I think we need a pair. Yeah. <laughs> but when it comes to kicks, yeah. it's Nike that you rock with. Uh, mainly Nike. I would like to wear some Adidas sometimes. But, yeah. Um, yeah, mainly Nike is my favorite. Day. Yeah. Um, Keep saying that to the camera as well. Yeah, Nike yeah. is his favorite. Nike is his favorite. So you know. yeah. Yeah. Get, him, get him a contract, yeah, please. Nike right. <laughs> like Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> Just yeah. do it. Yeah. Um, Matt, dude, it's been it's been awesome chatting. Like, yeah, we could probably talk for hours. Uh, hardest question. Yeah, but we, we ask everybody. But yeah. it might be different for you because we'll, we'll give you the top your top five favorite players. Cause yeah. We usually ask top five favorite artists, but yeah. you know what I mean? Like, well, of all time or just now? Just uh, right now. Yeah, like right now that you're messing with. Yeah. Uh, so the well, I mean, with, with NBA players, like, we'll give you right now. Yeah, like, right yeah, now. yeah. I was going to yeah. say, there's some legends that you can probably pick from. Yeah. But, you know what I mean? We'll, we'll give you right now. All right. I'm going with. I'm going with Kyrie. Yeah. All right. Handles. That's right. Um, KD. Yeah. LeBron James. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Davis. Um, oh, I'm going with the last one. It's going to be a big man. It's going to be a big, big man. Seven three, Lanky. Good shooter. Oh, no. man. Oh. It's a hard one right now. Yeah. It's a lot, the last, last one's the hardest. Yeah, okay, always. I was going to say, maybe Giannis, like. <laughs> I would say him. He's not even a big man. I don't know. Giannis. Yeah. Left field. <laughs> oh, I, I want to say him, but you know, I want a big, big man. You know, like, oh, like yeah, yeah, center, center. Like center, center. center, center. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony Davis center. is not a center, bro. He's no, 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 not at all. He's a four man. Um, Anthony Davis, like yesterday after that step back, I watched. Uh, yeah. He was looking more like a small four. <laughs> 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 that bloke should be anywhere. Yeah. Big guys, are, like, it's hard to find a big guy nowadays that's like this traditional big man. Yeah, you know what right. I mean? Like, you look at even around. someone like Mo Bamba, like, you know, he's a rebounder, block, shot blocker, but he's still trying to um, develop a jump shot. So, yeah. it's like, it's a tricky one. No, you know what? We're, we're just going to put him, we're just going to put Anthony Davis at the center. Yeah. Like, yeah. And we're, we're going to put, uh, put Kawhi at the two. Yeah. And LeBron at the three. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Go, Kyrie Irving. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, 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 that's right. That's, nah, that's, 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 that's not a bad starting five. Yeah, I mean, two, two uh, five out of them already won a championship. So that's right. That's right. That makes sense. But um, yeah, dude, that's it's been dope talking to you. Awesome. Yeah. We well, can see that you uh, you're gonna probably need to get back to yeah, get training. Back to training. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> but um, is there anyone you want to uh, yeah, to give shout a shout out or you know plug anything or whatever it is you're working on the next few months or any messages? Uh, any messages you wanted to say? You know, say hi to mom, dad. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Coach Williams right here. Yeah. See him on the camera. He's right there. <laughs> yeah, that's my guy right there. Um, yeah, my mom, my dad, um, uh, my stepdad. So chip counselor, Tracy Smith, um, my grandmother, my Mimi, Mimi you call Mimi where I'm yeah, from, yeah, 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 my grandmother, yeah. Yeah, Margaret Smith, and um, yeah, so that's it. Man, I yeah. love that you didn't get the grandma back. Yeah, yeah. You're probably getting the hit up back, like, hey, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, don't talk to me about it. It's Hustle and Grind, uh, we'll see you later. Peace. Peace.